Brian Little. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Months and Made This. My name is Michael. My name is Ben. And we have something a little bit different for you today. We are going to be sharing with you one of our favorite foods that we've recently kind of started eating a lot of, uh, and that is sandwiches. Now, these are things that we thought that we could never, uh, I know it seems so simple, sandwiches. Well, at least I didn't think I was ever going to be able to have a sub sandwich again, or at least a sub sandwich that tasted like what I remembered from like Good Sense or Port of Subs or Subway, just sort of that like total comfort, just like, lunch meat sandwich that I right. grew up eating. And you can go to Subway and get a veggie sandwich, sandwich, but it's just all condiments. So it's nice to know that uh, with a few easy to find uh, ingredients from, I, these all came from just the supermarket and Target, uh, that you can have yourself a delicious uh, sub restaurant style sandwich uh, in no time at all. So we have two different sandwiches for you here. We have an Italian sub and we have a Buffalo or Nashville hot chicken sandwich. So uh, we're gonna show you exactly how we made these, talk about them a little bit and talk about how much just being able to make these sandwiches has helped uh, at least myself and I think it's helped me a, a lot more because I am the type of person that doesn't like spending time in the kitchen. I want something really fast and accessible. I can throw one of these together in I mean, less time than it takes to get everything out of the fridge, honestly. That's the most tedious part of it, right. is getting all of the stuff out of the fridge and ready to assemble, but then it comes together in like a minute. Mm -hmm. So, And like with most uh, vegan things, when you try to veganize something, it's, it's more about the sauce. Uh, the joke is, what's a vegan's favorite food? Sauce. These are all about the sauce. It's all about the accompaniments and... Uh, Mayonnaise, mustard, and salt, pepper. Else. Also, the lunch meat is amazing. I gotta say, like right now, I didn't expect vegan lunch meat to be so close to the real thing. And honestly, I almost can't tell a difference, so. And we're both just obsessed with both of these. So uh, let's go ahead and show you how we made the Italian one here. I'm gonna cut into it and then we'll talk about our love of these sandwiches. Yeah, let's cut this thing in half. So I think maybe you can tell here, uh, it's just this cross section, like, that's just a straight up Italian sub. Like there's no denying that this looks exactly like what you'd expect it to. And I guarantee you the taste is so close to what you remember, if not basically the exact same thing. Yeah, it's like, I feel like if you were to eat the lunch meats on their own, which I don't know if people do that, but you're just like, okay, yeah, these are fine, whatever. But put together with all the other ingredients, it just is like, you bite into it, you're like, oh my God, this is exactly like what I used to get. And he, I don't know if we mentioned port of subs. Did we mention port of subs? Yeah, I did. My favorite thing at port of subs is that mayo mustard mixture. So and I, when I was making the sandwich, the I kind of mixed the mayo and mustard together and it, it definitely serves that. Another important thing is the Italian dressing. Yeah. And I don't know if that's something, I think they do vinegar and oil at sub sandwiches. Which but. isn't something that I ever did at home. Like when I had lunch meat sandwiches growing up, I never put Italian dressing on them. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just this specific craft one or whatever it is, but. It adds a lot. It's truly just like, all right, here it is. So uh, let's so give it a Making this is really simple. Obviously the mise en place and getting everything ready is definitely the most time consuming part mm -hmm. of it. And then you're literally just taking things out of bags and constructing it. I mean, as you guys will see with the B-roll that yeah. we're going to be playing here. So it's just, you know, if your vegetables are ready to go, which I can have Michael get all that stuff ready and put it in jars for me. So that way I can just pull it out and throw one of these things together real quick. But if you've watched our channel, you know that Ben doesn't really cook or love to cook and in transitioning to a diet without any meat. It's been important to make things quick and easy so he doesn't feel, I feel like I'm just talking for you like you're not here, but uh, easy to I make. Like, I like things fast and easy, and I'm just, when it comes to making food, I don't wanna have to spend a whole lot of time doing it. I've always been like a grab and go eating kind of a person. I yeah. just, I want it to be fast and simple and not put much thought into it, so. And I feel like I'm the extremes. Like I love to cook and be in the kitchen and I can spend hours in there, but there's other times I'm like, I'm starving, I need to eat right now. And having these ingredients on hand definitely helps right um just to let you know we the the meat except for we had tofurkey in here i think it's a smoked tofurkey that's on this uh but it's the eves brand yves um, most of the ones that we have here so we have salami bologna the tofurkey and pepperoni and those are the meats that we have on here and uh, those all actually came from sprouts and when i bought these they were actually on sale so uh for a package i think it was a little bit less than three dollars for each package and I would say you can get, you know, if you're using maybe like 
two, three, four slices each, um, you'll get quite a few sandwich sandwiches out of. Yeah, them like about as well. the same as you would get with like the Oscar Mayer like prepackaged. I'll, just, I'll give it a little bit more expensive than the the really cheap Oscar Mayer stuff. You can buy some real cheap. But I mean, what is there. that even? Right, like, exactly. And that's another thing. Before we take a bite, uh, I'm gonna take a bite now. There's a lot of, you know, I'm, I'm sure criticism of this is like that, that meat's processed, you're getting it from, you know, you don't know what it is exactly, or, you know, there's all the criticisms of it. Um, but if you wanted a sub sandwich and you were going to go to Subway or Port of Subs, you don't know what that is. Plus, somehow it came from an animal. So this is this, so good. <laughs> at least uh, you it's, were worried that I was putting too much stuff on it. It's such a beautiful mess. I mean, by the time I'm done with this, there's going to be a mess on my plate. But I think that's kind of what makes it so great, is it's just sort of this like gluttonous, mm. messy, amazing thing. There's just so much flavor. This is probably the best one that we've made. We were a little bit worried as we were putting it together, or I was putting it together, um, that I was putting too much stuff, it was messy, it's not gonna fold. And I think maybe that's part of the trick also to making a delicious sub sandwich is to maybe going a little bit overboard. Did you even keep the tomatoes on there? Yeah, I kind of forgot they were on there. Um, everything just works so well together. Um, the bread is just from a grocery store bakery. You could buy hoagie rolls. Um, I think having a good bun like this is really important. Mm -hmm. um, just read the ingredients. Most of them are airy and, uh, airy. <laughs> uh, dairy and egg free. Um, you may find some dough conditioners that might be problematic. Um, if you're a very strict vegan, um, definitely read the labels and do your research and, and see what, what works for you. The way all this stuff comes together, it's truly one of those things that's just greater than the sum of its parts. And I never, prior to us starting to make this sandwich, I never would have been like a full stan for like store-bought vegan lunch meat. That wouldn't be something that I would like encourage people. Like, yes, definitely the lunch meats are great. Go out there and buy them. Like, I don't think that would be something that I would say, you know? Right, and we didn't have lunch meat around here ever because it wasn't something that you bought. And not until I was craving a sub did we even talk about doing this and I think we were both kind of surprised like putting it together how good it actually ended up being. Yeah there's a sandwich shop here I don't know how national it is but called Capriati's and I used to get their Italian sub as well and there was something about that that I missed and this kind of gives me that experience as well. It's just uh, honestly if you were a sandwich person you want quick and easy vegan foods this is it's so good. It doesn't get much better, no. honestly. Mm. I'm so glad that something that I was craving and thought I was never going to have again, I can have, and it's so good mm -hmm. and exactly what I want it to be. And there's no weird triggering thoughts about the fact that it's just skin or you know pieces what? of an animal. I know where everything comes from, and right. it might be processed, but... It's still better than the alternative. Right. If you're going to eat a processed food, regardless, like that's the decision, I'm going to have a processed lunch meat sandwich. You might as well choose this processed meat, so. Well, let's get into the Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Uh, Again, some yeah. B-roll's probably gonna roll while we talk about this thing a little bit, but. Um, and I'll go ahead and cut this in half as well. Um, this kind of came about in a similar way, I guess. Um, wanting Ben to be able to make food for himself that was quick and easy, that made him feel like he was not missing out. I need it simple. <laughs> I, I think that there's so many people out there that are like that. And then and it one, makes me feel so helpless. Like, and, and like, so I don't just, think that it's I, about helpless. I think it's a, like a skill set, right? Like it's a skill just, set that I never developed or really wanted to develop. And some people just, yeah, don't have an interest in being in the kitchen. I enjoy being in the kitchen. Some people just don't. Right. And how are you able to be able to make a transition in your life to remove meat from your diet when everywhere serves meat? That's just the default, right? Everything is going to have meat in it. So how do you, how are you able to continue eating the way that you've eaten to... Through a fast food drive through Right. And I think that a lot of these products are really accessible and again, it's about what you put with it, but also I think the, the products themselves have come a long way. Speaking of products, so uh, this is our Nashville hot buffalo. Sure. Yeah. I would say it's just like a spicy chicken sandwich. I mean, what is the product called? The Gardein product? So it's it is the Gardein Nashville hot, which honestly uh, came from Target. And I don't know why I'm not able to find it at other places, but it's always a Target. Also, the day that I bought these, they were on sale, I think, like 
two for two for seven maybe. So we used three on here today, but normally we only use two. We're trying to just be a little bit extra for the video. I mean, I made one the other day on the sub sandwich bread um, and I used four. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think three's fine, two's fine. Yeah, you could totally, if you had more like this kind of bread, wow, this sounds really good. They've got quite a bit of kick. Yeah. The breading is definitely fairly spicy. And then you add that Frank's red hot sauce and it really kicks it up. And the onions, the pickle. It's just like what you'd expect from a fast food chicken sandwich. Yeah, I mean, it's not Chick-fil-A. Yeah. It's not like a spicy chicken Chick-fil-A sandwich because the obviously the chicken cutlet on this is way different. Right. It's not thick. It's not really juicy, but it definitely serves that crispy, like hot chicken sandwich. And air frying them. I know I've done a lot of air fryer videos. I'm a full stand for air fryers. I think if you're cooking any type of frozen prepared food that an air fryer is amazing for it. You could obviously just bake these. I'm sure you could microwave them. They're not gonna get as crispy, but when you air fry these, they get super crispy, like they came out of a deep fryer. I mean, the air fryer is basically just a better microwave in every way. It's almost just as fast. Right. The food comes out a lot better. It's not steamed and wet. It's, it's actually like your, crispy. Your microwave and your oven had a baby. Right. Also, we didn't mention the cheese in the last one. We're using Follow Your Heart Provolone in both of these. Such a good cheese. Um, we've also, when we were making these before, it just kind of depends on what they have that day, but the uh, smoked Gouda by Follow Your Heart is really good. <laughs> hey. Tuffy agrees. It's not your, it's not your turn, buddy. <laughs> um, also, the uh, Violife Shreds, I've used those on these sandwiches, yeah. which are really good. Those are both vegan cheeses that I would just eat on their own mm -hmm. because they're that good. Mayo. This uh. is the... Follow your heart, veganaise. Right, both of these sandwich, both of these sandwiches benefit greatly from having a good amount of sauce on them. Yeah, the, the French Red Hot, the Which mayonnaise. Which is naturally vegan. Yeah. Also, I just bought the other day at Target, um, the Best Foods vegan mayonnaise. It's <coughs> half the price. I know, Tuffy agrees. Uh, it is half the price. Oh, just a moment, baby. Half the price of veganaise. Uh, I do prefer veganaise flavor a little bit, but if you're looking for something that's more accessible, a little bit less expensive, uh, the Best Foods one is definitely preferable. I know, I'm, I'm not sure what's wrong with Tuffy. I think he's telling us that we've been talking too much. Um, one last thing before we go is we did a hot things video, uh, a hot ones. Sorry about that little white dog. Uh, a hot ones video and sort of a fail, but we found these chips because what goes better with uh, sandwiches and chips? So I wanted to try these. Um, I think it's called Pocky. Is that how you say it? Sure. Haunted ghost pepper. Now they do have a thing. He's really upset that we're eating in front of him. Uh, they do have a thing where you can get one chip and it's super hot. I'm hoping this is comparable to that. So do you want to grab one and- Wait, so there's one in here that's No, 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 sorry. There's another thing that this brand has where you buy one chip for like $5 and it's like a challenge. Got it. So I'm hoping that since this brand is known for making super hot stuff that they- Doesn't look like there's much like powder or anything on no. it that would be super hot, but who knows? Mine actually has a lot of powder on it. Yeah. Let's see if this is hot. Mmm. It's like a Dorito. It's hot. I had a lot of powder on mine. I like them though. It's good. They do have a certified vegan label on the back. So that's what we have for you today. Sandwiches, they're amazing, they're I have, easy. I will have a blog post on my website talking about the ingredients and how we made these. Um, but there really isn't a recipe. The idea is go to your store, see what vegan lunch meats you can find out there. Throw yourself together an Italian sub. Yeah, the flavors that you like, you know? Put yeah. together the flavors that you've been craving, you know? The sauces that you've always loved. I mean, you'll be surprised how, like, how many ways you can make a different sandwich and how different and flavorful they can be, just yeah. depending on what you throw on there. And there won't be a months and eight this video after this one because this is sort of a months and eight this video. So if you do like this kind of content where we're talking and chatting and eating, and eating. Uh, it's normally just me by myself, but uh, go ahead and go to my Patreon link below. And uh, if you uh, donate to this channel and you, uh, well, if you donate to the channel, basically you can watch all my months and eight this videos. I think I have 22 or 23 of them there. So definitely do that. Follow me on Instagram at months and made this. If you make any of these sandwiches, definitely tag me. I think that's all we have to say. I'm excited to finish eating these. 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's yeah. a little different than obviously the normal recipe video, but we just got really excited about these foods that like, oh my God, we've been making these and they're so good and we feel like we've really gotten something like special. Special. And so yeah. hopefully we're... hopefully you guys feel the same way and aren't just like, wow. Sandwiches. Lunch meat cool. sandwiches. Yeah, Ooh, you guys that weird lunch meat in the vegan section of the grocery <sighs> store. Awesome. But trust us, give it a try. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Ryan Little. <laughs>